Look at this, are you know about how resistor work, why resistor are used in different circuit. Why resistor are damaged when a high amount of current are passing through it. Who was the presenter of this concept about resistance of conductor which is known as Ohm's law. How a resistor control the voltage across different electronics components how a resistor work in different circuit and decrease the voltage value in circuit, why the small LED light is damaged when we cannot connect with right type of resistor, all are the part of this video let's start about it. Look at this, this is wire wound type resistor which is generally used for high amps of current. This is the carbon type which is common type of resistor that are used all type of circuits, this type of resistor can capable of 1 amp of current. This is also carbon type resistor which is known as quarter type resistor because it can capable of 0.25 amps current. Look at the figure. George Simon Ohm was born in Bavaria in 1787 was studying the nature of electricity using metal wire that he had to make for himself despite his limited resources and lower mathematical abilities Ohm was able to demonstrate in 1827 that the electrical resistance of a conductor such as copper varied in inverse proportion with its area of cross section and the current flowing through it is directly proportional to the voltage applied to it, as long as temperature is held constant. Fourteen years later, the Royal Society in London finally recognized the significance of his contribution and awarded him the Copley Medal. Today, his discovery is known as Ohm's Law. Let understand this law with practical working. Ohm's law states that current flowing in a conductor is directly proportional to the applied voltage as long other physical condition are kept constant. Look at the lead is remain off when the voltage is low as we increases the voltage the current is supply increases due to which lead light blows and As we decreases the voltage the LED light R becomes dim and eventually turn off. Now understand this one. Electrical resistance of a conductor such as copper varied in inverse proportion with its area of cross section. Look at this one this 46k ohms resistor of 1 watt. Look at this one this also 46k ohms resistor but of quarter watt. These are look to be same as we look at the color code of these resistors. The first one is yellow. The second one is violet. And the third one is orange. And the last one which show resistivity of resistor. It also be the same. Now to find the resistance of different resistors. And how we understand look at. We can use different type of multimeter such as analog as well as digital multimeter. The unit of resistance is ohms. We measure distance in miles or kilometers. Weight in pounds or kilograms. Temperature in Fahrenheit or centigrade. And electrical resistance in ohms. The ohm is an international unit of resistance. Look at this symbol. Ever you measure the resistance, this is known as ohm. There are so many types of multimeter, which is used to measure the resistance, and having different ranges such as look at, you can accurate measure the resistance by selecting suitable range. To measure the resistance, connect the terminals of multimeter rigidly with resistor ends and note the reading. This is 46k ohms resistor. This is also 46k ohms resistor. But how it differ from the first one? Let understand that. Look at now these are 46k ohms resistor of quarter watt, which is means that they are capable of 0.25 amps current each. Look at now the second one which is also 46k ohms resistor but it can capable of 1 amp current. 
In other words these four quarter watt resistors can capable for the same amount of current as by this one resistor can pass it. Now to understand this theory. If we connect this light with wire wound type resistor has a low resistance about 1 ohm and but wattage value is 5 amps. It works smoothly. And we can see it changing of voltage cannot damage the resistor. If we connect this light with carbon type resistor has a high resistance about 100 ohms and but wattage value is 0.25 amp. It work not smoothly. And we can see it changing of voltage damage the resistor. You can see the resistor is burns out because it cannot capable of high amps. Now add a new section how we can combine resistor in different combinations and how they are interact with these combinations. There are two types of resistor combination in all of the circuits. 1. Parallel combination. 2. Series combination. Parallel combination. That type of resistor combination in which they are connected side by side such that their ends is joined together at two common points. Now to understand practically, that how a resistor can be combined in parallel, and how it resistance affected look it. Add the first one resistor, and note the reading, which is about 46k ohms. Add the second one resistor. And note the reading. Which is about 23k ohms. Add the third one resistor. And note the reading, which is about 16k ohms. Add the fourth one resistor, and note the reading, which is about 13k ohms. As we add resistor the value of equivalent resistor is decreases. The equivalent resistor in parallel combination is find by this formula. Note. The total resistance in parallel combination always less than the actual value of the resistor. Series combination. That type of resistor combination in which they are connected end by end such that their ends is joined together at two different points. Now to understand the series combination. Let do some arrangements look at. Check the resistance value at each end. As you see it increases by adding resistor to the series. Look at this combination. There is only one way to current pass through it so in series adding resistance blocking the current flow through it. As a result resistance increases in series. The equivalent resistor in series combination is find by this formula. Note. The total resistance in series combination always is greater than the actual value of the resistor. This is a 1.5 volt LED light, which is can capable of maximum 2.5 volt which is polarity is. Let's see what happen. when we connected with voltage source without resistor to study the voltage raise and drops connect voltmeter in parallel with LED light complete the connections 
Now look at carefully how increase and decrease the voltage affect the LED light. As we increase the voltage up to 1.5 volt the LED light turns on. It has maximum capability up to 3 volt. And never cross it. If we cross this limit, as you see it burns out the LED light look it. It's because the extra voltage more current which burns out the LED light. To avoid form this situation, we need to connect with resistor, which provides safe way to run it. Now replace the burn LED light with new one. To understand how it work with resistor. Look at now it again. Work well up to 3 volt as you can see it. Let connect with resistor. It's 100 ohms carbon type resistor of quarter watt. Now connect this resistor in series with LED light. See the voltage raise and drops. How it affect the turning on off of the LED light. As you see it can now capable up to 5.5 volt. And within this range it works smoothly. Now replace this resistor by 1k ohms resistor and look at the voltage raise and drops carefully. This is the best choice. For an LED light in most of the circuit because as you can see it works smoothly up to 20 volt. Now replace the LED light with this one look at. It's 12 volt light, which has consume up to 10 ampere of current. If we connect this one with 100 ohms resistor what will be happened? As you see without resistor it work good. But as we connect with resistor in series look. It burn out the resistor. It's because the high ampere current passed through it which damaged the resistor. So keep in the mind. As we need different resistor for different voltage. As same we need also different resistor for different type of load means. Ampere. Now if we replace the carbon resistor by this one, which has low resistance with high ampere of current, it worked definitely good. I sure you understand it. 
you can see it the increase or decrease of voltage did not affect it, it works smoothly, because it can capable of high amount of current, T and slightly change the voltage value, due to low resistance of it. If we connect this type of resistor for high voltage value within LED light it cannot drops the voltage value. In other words it cannot work properly with high voltage. Look. It work properly with 3 volt. But as we increase the voltage across it, look, it also burn out the LED light, because of his lower resistance value. Look at these are 46k ohms resistors of 1 ampere. Now to understand how a resistor drops the voltage in different circuits. Connect these resistor in series combination in breadboard such that its one end is connected with the other one. As you see we connect three resistors in series. Select the correct voltage range in multimeter. And check out the voltage value. By connecting with ends of resistor. As you see it shows 6.7 volt when we connect with first one. It shows 6.4 volt with second one and the last one drops the voltage up to 5.8 volt. If we connect these resistor in parallel look, it did not drops the voltage value, as you see, because in parallel voltage remain same, while in series the voltage is different. If you find this video informative, interesting, please like it, and comment in the comment box. Thanks for watching.